All right, I'm about to try this browser. Everyone's saying could replace Chrome. So let's see if it's actually worth it. And now I'm going to open my web browser and here I will search for this new browser called Helium. Let's go here to this website and here it says internet without interruptions. Best privacy and unbiased ad blocking by default, handy features like native banks, whatever that means, and split view. No adware, no bloat, no noise, meant for people, by people, and fully open source. So here let's click on download Helium. I'm gonna select here my version, ARM64. Wait for a few seconds and let's click here on the installer. And it seems like nothing is actually happening. No installer, no nothing. Oh, so it's already installed. We can see here the icon. And then here we also have already the onboarding. So let's continue with this. Meet Helium. Let's configure your browser just the way you want it. If you're in a rush, you can stick to defaults with best privacy and comfort. I'm gonna click just configure here. And then we have some of the Helium services. All services are anonymous, private and self-hostable changes will be applied after you go to the next page. So I think I'm just gonna leave every single option here toggled on. So allow connecting to Helium services, proxy extension downloads and updates and stuff like that. And we can see here that it also has this extension built in. So uBlock origin by default out of the box. So here I'm gonna click on next and now we can just choose a search engine. I think I'm gonna go with DuckDuckGo, which is selected by default. And let's click on next. We can also take some stuff with you. I think I'm just gonna start fresh. So I won't select Microsoft Edge here and I will click on next. Ready to make the switch? No, I think I'm just gonna try Helium for now and let's see what happens. So welcome to Helium. Now we can just start playing with it. I think I'm just gonna resize the window. So just like this. So this is Helium browser. And on the right, I can see the uBlock origin icon. And apparently this is already installed by default out of the box. So I think this is a welcome change. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also Chromium web browser. So if I go here to Google Web Store, I can go here and install as many extensions as I want. So let's scroll down below here to find one really cool extension or let's just search new tab redirect. Okay, so I pretty much install this extension on every browser I use. So click here on add to Chrome, add extension. And yes, this is apparently Chromium based and it works really, really nicely with the extensions. So pretty much you can install any of the extensions you want from the Chrome Web Store. And it also comes with the uBlock origin installed by default. On this extension, so new tab redirect, I'm gonna click on set options. Here I want to add DuckDuckGo. So if I click on plus, let's search here for DuckDuckGo website. Let's go here, let's click on start page. And I think I'm just gonna copy this one right here. Let's go to the new tab, redirect and paste this inside and let's click on save. And now if I click here on plus, we should be redirected here to the DuckDuckGo. So yeah, we are pretty much using here DuckDuckGo search as our new tab, as well as here on the input field, DuckDuckGo works as well. So here on the right, if I click on the three dots, we can also find here this option to customize it. So let's click on it here. And here we have appearance options. We can go from light to dark to device. I think I'm gonna just go with the dark one and let's go here to this custom one. And I think I'm gonna go with the yellow theme here. So something like this. And then here we down below, we have show shortcuts. I think I'm just gonna disable this one. And here we have the toolbar options. So if I click on it here, we have the home option. I think I'm just gonna add it here and also this one's open in split view. Let's go back here and let's see what happens if I click on this one. So we are redirected pretty much to the DuckDuckGo website. And if I click here, we can also have here a split view, which works really, really nice. And we can also resize here the left and the right tab. So it works very nicely, super fluid and as intended. So pretty much this is my setup for the browsers. Pretty much I use the uBlock origin and also new tab redirect to redirect on the new website, pretty much on the DuckDuckGo. 
And we can also try one more thing to install a few more of the extensions. So if I go back to the web store, let's click here on Chrome web store. And here I think I'm gonna go with the privacy badger just like this, add to Chrome, add extension. And now I'm going to search for another one, which is decentralized. Let's click on this one, add to Chrome, add extension. And here you can see that it has extensions already installed. So we have here Privacy Badger, New Tab Redirect, decentralized, every single extension, which I use pretty much on a daily basis is installed here. And uh, it works super, super well. So if I click here on the three dots, we can also go here to the settings and let's go here under the privacy and security if the helium browser actually has some of the other options built in for example down below we have helium services so the services i pretty much agreed on on the onboarding so allow connecting to helium services proxy extension downloads and updates allow downloading the banks list so pretty much i will leave every single option here to enabled let's go here to the performance and then we have here the memory saver option, power, and then speed. So we can also preload pages. Then we have the appearance. So we already added here the home button and then also this split view one. And then here you can see that the theme is actually using helium colors. And if we go here to the search engine, so we pretty much selected DuckDuckGo. And if I go here under the system, we can see that we have this option, continue running background apps when Helium is closed. This option is turned off by default and I think I'm gonna leave it that way because I want, if I close the Helium browser, everything will be closed from this browser. No services will be running in the background, which I quite like. Let's go here to the About Helium page and we can see that this is indeed Chromium and it's built on 142 currently and it works super, super nice. So for example, here I have a few of the tabs open, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go here to the task manager and let's see how many of the resources it's actually using. So here we have the Helium browser, 520 megabytes of the memory, which isn't that much and it works super nice. So if I go here back and search for the Helium browser, we can also go here to their GitHub page and down below, we can see that this is also available for Mac OS, Linux, and also Windows. Yeah, it's available pretty much on every single platform. Either if you're using Linux, you can also try it out Windows and also on Mac OS. And then you can see here, this note, Helium is still in beta, so unexpected issues may occur. We are not responsible for any damage caused by usage of beta software. So pretty much this is still in beta. You can see here on top that the actual release version is 0.65 and that it's not one point something. So it's still in very early stages, but in my opinion, it does work very, very well. And if we click here on uBlock Origin Packaging, we can see that it's actually using this forked version of uBlock Origin called CRX and it works with the latest releases of Chrome. So Chromium, the current release is 142 and this uBlock extension, which this browser actually comes with, works super well and it also blocks many of the ads. So yeah, this is pretty much this brand new Helium browser, which I think you should definitely give it a try. It's basically the Google Chrome browser with uBlock Origin built inside and it works super fast, privacy focused and uh, quite reliable as well. One thing is that this is still in early stages and I think it should become stable very, very soon. But overall, the first experience, I think it's definitely worth installing in my personal opinion. So I will leave a link for this browser in the video description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you all around in the next one.